Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom detail highlights how useful monster parts can be in combat. A Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom player finds a way to use monster parts in combat after experimenting with some explosives near their lab. A Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom player found a new way to increase the AoE of explosions from elemental fruit by using monster parts. This should give late game players more combat options in Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. In Tears of the Kingdom, players can collect different materials to create new items and also act as valuable fuse components. The fusion system in Tears of the Kingdom lets players create explosive arrows, new weapons, and more. A Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom player known as Danger Man Daniel discovered that monster parts increase the AoE of explosions as they are thrown away. While throwing monster parts, the player noticed that the explosion became much larger than those of elemental fruits. The experiment was conducted with multiple monster parts such as the ice and electric keys eyeball and a fire breath Lizalfo's horn. The poster states that any monster part in Tears of the Kingdom can yield such a large explosion so long as it's imbued with an element. If that wasn't enough, other players have pointed out that there is a way to increase the size of explosions even more by using gems instead of monster parts. The explosion yield depends on the object's size according to the game. Elemental fruits count as small, common monster parts count as medium, rare monster parts count as large, and finally, dragon parts gems count as huge. The op did more thorough testing and confirmed that explosions produced by throwing away dragon materials yield a huge explosion that will even cause Link to take heavy damage. As such, it's better to stick to the smaller explosions if the players don't want to get incinerated after throwing some leftover dragon items in Tears of the Kingdom. With this discovery, Tears of the Kingdom players can take down the opposition by discarding items or materials they don't need. With these exploding materials effectiveness, this trick can be worth using against a few of the game's toughest enemies. Other players have also asked the poster how they made their house, which is visible in the video. With the magnificent houses that Tears of the Kingdom players have built, it wouldn't hurt to ask a scientist such as Danger Man Daniel about some house building directions.